In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a ready up system that syncs across networks. If you want to get access to this project and my other projects, you can visit my Patreon, link down below. And if you missed any of the previous videos, feel free to watch them or not, link below. Now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is edit our player list prefab. So on here, we are going to make a new text variable, call this player ready text. And I'm just going to just scale it up and set it to ready. We also want to access this player list item script. Okay, so in the script, we are going to be editing the text value that we just created. So we need two variables for this. First of all, let's actually make a reference to the text. So public text, player ready text. We also want to make a reference to a public boolean called... And we will create one function, so public void, change ready status. So in here, we are going to check if we are ready and if we aren't. And if we are ready, we want to change our player ready text. So let's grab our player ready text dot text and make this equal ready. And if we aren't, we are going to make this equal unready. I'm also going to change the color of the text to indicate if we are or not. So let's do player ready text dot color. And I'm going to make this equal color dot green. And at the bottom here, I'm going to do the same. So player ready text dot color equal color red. And finally, we want to call this function so that it actually works. So let's copy it over. And finally, we want to call this function so it actually works. So in set player values where we set the name, we are also going to call this function. So change ready status. Okay, that is everything in the script. Let's go back into Unity and drag in your ready player text. The next change we're going to add is in our player object. Currently, we create this when someone connects and this holds all of our data, such as our connection ID, player ID number, player steam and player name. We also want to hold a value of whether we are ready or not. So we are going to make this a sync variable and also a hook, just like the player name, so that we have a function that handles if we are ready or not. So to do this, we are going to do sync var, then a hook of the name of player ready update. And we're going to set it to a public boolean called ready. Currently, we're getting an error. This is because this function doesn't exist, so let's create it. For this, we are going to make a private void, then the name of it. And just like before, we want to pass in the old value and the new value that we are changing it to. And since this is a boolean, we are going to do bool old value, and then bool new value. And just like we did with the name hook, we are going to check if we are server, so if is server. And we're also going to do a check to see if we are the client, so let's do if is client. Now in the server, we are just going to grab this ready equal new value. And if we are the client, we want to call a function that we actually already created in the previous episode. So let's do lobby controller dot instance dot update player list. Currently, this probably doesn't make much sense on why we are calling this function, but once we go into the lobby controller and edit some scripts, it will all make sense. There is two more functions we want to make. The first one will be a command, so we are going to write command, and we are going to set this to a private void, cmd set player ready. And in here, we just want to call this function. So let's do this dot player ready update. Now the values we want to pass in is first of all the old value, so this will just be this dot ready. And the new value we're going to pass in is the opposite of the ready status. So what we can do is we can do an explanation mark and then write this dot ready. This essentially means if we are ready, it will set it to false. If we aren't, it will set it to true. And the final function we want to do is just a public void called change ready. This is the function that we will be calling outside of the script. And in here we are going to check if we have authority. And if that is the case, we want to call this CMD set player ready. So that is everything in here. The final changes will be in the lobby controller and it's not going to be too much. So first of all, let's set our data. For this, we are going to make a public button called start game button. We are also going to make a public text variable called ready button text. Okay, so in here we will be changing a couple functions, but before we do that, let's create the new ones so that we don't get any errors. There is going to be three new functions that we create. This first one will be public void ready player. And this function will simply access our local player controller and we'll call change ready. The next function we will make is to update our button. So let's do public void update button. And this function will basically change what the text equals. This isn't mandatory, but it just makes the game look nicer. So for this, we can just do an if statement to check if our local player controller dot ready is true. And if it isn't, and if we already are true, we want to grab our ready button text and set our text to equal unready. And if we aren't ready, we want to set it to ready, essentially set it to the opposite. The final function we'll make is to check if everyone is ready. And if that is the case, we want to give the host the option to start the game. So to do this, let's make a public void, check if all ready. And there's going to be a couple of things we want to do. Let's first of all make a boolean of all ready and we'll set it to false by default. Now to check if everyone was ready, we can just use a for each loop, so for each, then access our player 
object controller script, we'll call this player, and we want to check it in our manager.gameplayers. And in here we will check if player.ready is true, and if it isn't. If it's true, we want to set already to true. If it isn't, we want to set it to false, and we also want to immediately break out of this because someone's clearly not ready, so we don't want to continue looping through this. The final check we're going to do is to check if already the boolean we made at the top is true, and if it isn't. If this isn't ready, we want to set our start button, interactable false, and now there's a couple things we want to do if it is true. So first of all, we only want to give the host the option to start the game. So to check if we are the host, we can do an if statement, then do local player controller dot player number equals one. If our player number is one, this means we are the host. So we can do start game button dot interactable equals true. And if we are not the host, we want to copy this line and set it to false. Okay, so this function is also complete. Now let's change the functions that we currently have. First of all, we want to change the update player item, which is what we call inside of our player object controller. So what we're going to do is update the boolean of ready. So let's do player list item script dot ready equals player dot ready. We also want to check if this player is currently us, so if we are the local player controller. And if that is the case, we want to call update button. This is because we only want to update the buttons individually and not for every single person. Finally, outside of the for each loop, so right here, we are going to call check if already. Okay, next up, we're going to go to the create client. And just like we did previously, we want to access our new player item script dot ready to make sure it equals player dot ready. And the final change we're going to do is in the host. And once again, we are going to access our new player item script dot ready and make it equal player dot ready. And that is everything. So let's go back into Unity. Okay, so in the lobby screen, I've created two buttons, one called ready button and the other one called start game. So on ready button, we're going to scroll down on click. We are going to drag in our lobby controller, then go to lobby controller and ready player. On the start button, we want to set it to interactable false by default. And the final changes we're going to add is on the lobby controller. So in here, we want to open up our ready button and drag in this piece of text to the ready button text and also drag in our button here. Let's save this, go back into the main menu and test it out. If I host a game right now, you'll see that the unready is red, but the second I press ready, it should change it and give me the option to start the game. And just to demonstrate, if I click on my local player, you can see this ready boolean is changing as I press this button. So let's quickly test it with another player. Now if I press host and I have my second account join, you can see we are both on ready. If I ready up on here, it will also update on the second monitor. Finally, if everyone's ready, I will get the option to start the game and the other player won't. So that is it for this tutorial. If you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. The source code is also once again available on my Patreon, link down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!